I think educating the community about spay and neuter is extremely important. And it has to come from the vets. And the veterinarians, if they don't know there's a problem, then they're not going to be able to help educate. So I think it's important to get the veterinarians in the community involved because I was ignorant. I didn't know. And they're going to school. I'm learning how to do a kidney transplant and how to save your dog's life. I'm not thinking about, oh gosh, how many animals are getting euthanized uh, because there aren't enough homes. So I think it, it all comes down to reaching out to the vets. And you, you only need one that really is the voice that talks about it because we're the experts. I used to be an expert in animal cruelty and I've testified on a number of cases and the veterinarian is the expert that can testify. So gotta reach out to the vets. I think all shelters can work with their communities and the veterinarians in the communities to raise money to do low cost or free spay and neuter. Reach out to the news crews. It's, try to get the news to cover it. Let's all raise money for a mobile spay and neuter bus. There are a couple hundred thousand. You'd be amazed at the power of the vets and the community and the voice because really we are the voices for the animals. Without us, they're going to die in the shelter. So you get squeaky wheel gets the grease, um, hold fundraisers, try to get celebrities, news crews, talk to the vets, and we can change it so that no good animal gets put to sleep. You know, veterinarians are an important part of your caring for your animal, but so are trainers. I can't tell you how many times uh, we had trainers come and volunteer at the shelter. It's very important. All dogs need training, and cats do too. I mean, I trained our cat to walk on a leash, so it, don't overlook the training, and groomers. Groomers see the pets more than we do. We have so many groomers that would come and volunteer at the shelter. So reach out to trainers, groomers, and vets in the area because especially the groomers and the trainers, they're such giving people and they like donate their time. And it makes a difference between an animal getting adopted and not if it comes in, it looks like a tumbleweed and you can't see the eyes and a groomer makes it over, it's gonna get adopted.